Hey YouTube, it's me. It's Monday night and I have a little mini haul video I want to do. Um, maybe it's not mini. It's, it's an okay size haul, but nothing too crazy or overly exciting. Just some good deals out there that I wanted to share with you guys so you could check it out. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I did um, get some gift cards from my husband, so I did do a little online shopping spree. And um, so the two places I ordered things from are Victoria's Secret and Sephora. Um, Victoria's Secret, I didn't grab anything, you know, too scandalous. Um, just some basic stuff um, from their semi-annual sale, which I believe is still going on. Now for me, for the size I need for undergarments, um, they were very, very limited. But I did find a very nice one. It's one of their, um, it's like it... It doesn't have an enclosure, which I like, but it doesn't have the teeth. It's just like a pullover. And it's Racerback, which I find to be really, really nice because, like, this weekend it was hot. I was outside, and I have Racerback tanks, which usually I either torture myself with a strapless bra or um, I just let my straps fly. Um, but the, the bra that I did buy was fantastic. Um, I believe they're, like I said, they're still having their sale. I got a, a really nice one for $9.99. I also bought myself some sleep shorts. There, I think, were $9.99, and I bought myself two pairs of undies that were $2.99. And it, with the underwear, they did have a very decent selection still as of last week for $2.99. So if you are in the market for that stuff, I highly recommend it. Um, another place that I ordered something from was from Sephora, and um, I have a really funny story to share with you about Sephora. So, um, I noticed that when I was placing my order on the website that um, it actually had my maiden name and my um, parents' address. I mean, I've been married for nine years. I haven't lived there for nine years. So, um... I, I think I noticed it the last time I made an order, because it was the last time, I think, was um, in November. I think I did it around Black Friday. Um, and I remember having to enter new information. Um, but it was still there. And evidently, I did not check the box for my married name and my address that I live in now. So it went to my dad's house. Okay, no biggie. So he calls me and he's kind of in a panic. Something came to the house for you. And I'm like, oh, okay. I get junk mail there sometimes. Um, I'll get stuff from my university that I graduated from sometimes. Um, so he's like, no, you got a package. And I was like, a package? Huh, who's sending me packages to my parents' house? He said it came to Becky, and my, my maiden name. And I was like, huh, okay, it's it's still not clicking. He said, it looks like it is intimate in nature. Intimate in nature. Um, I'm not one that orders intimate in nature things. And I was thinking back, and I was like, okay, well, I did order normal stuff from Victoria's Secret, but I had opened it about a half hour before, so I, I knew it wasn't that, and I knew that I had already, you know, gotten everything. And so then I, it clicked with me. Oh, my gosh. Sephora went to your house. And I said, is it from Sephora? And he's like, huh, what? I said, Sephora, it's, it's a makeup store. I said, this does not look like makeup. And I was like, okay, well, that's the only other thing that I ordered. What does the box say? What does the packing slip say? He says, Sephora. But this doesn't look like makeup. It looks like private stuff. And I'm like, well, wh what do you think that it is? He's like, I don't want to say. And I said, all right, well, it is, it's makeup. And I was going to see him the next day. So I said, just bring it to my house tomorrow. So I'm just going to start with the samples because I think this is where we went awry. So he opened up the box and he saw these samples, which maybe to him looked like um, birth control, maybe? I don't know. Um, but the samples that I haven't tried yet, because I, I honestly forgot until I went to do this video, so I'm going to do some of these tonight. Um, this is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and deep puff. I need these. My eyes are always puffy. I'm going to try this tonight. 
Um, another one is a Sephora mask, purifying and mattifying. Interested in trying that. The Sephora brand mask, all the ones I've ever tried are awesome. So excited about this one. The other one is Philosophy Purity Made Simple 3 in 1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes. I love anything philosophy. Love, love, love. Okay, so that was that. I'm like, all right, maybe, uh, maybe he thought they looked like birth control. And then I remembered the other samples I picked out. So <laughs> I haven't used this one yet because I'm going to put it away. But I realized I got a mini Better Than Sex mascara. It's, I think it's their waterproof one. Um, so as soon as I saw it, I remembered, I laughed and I was like, dad, is this because it's a better than sex? He's like, well, I don't know. And I said, okay, dad, it's mascara. Well, I don't know about these things. And I was like, dad, it has a picture of a woman's eye and a mascara wand. He's like, I, I don't know about these things. So I was like, okay, fine. Um, so I haven't opened this one. I haven't tried it. I do have a regular better than sex that I use and honestly, Hands down, the best mascara out there. I don't use it every day because it's a little too dramatic for what I need. But I do use it for fancy occasions. So this is like a teeny tiny little baby one. Um, I just sort of peeked at it and put it back. It's really cute. So I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to leave it in there until I'm done with the other one. And then I'll open this guy. And then my next sample I haven't used yet... It is. It was like a little twofer baby um, Too Faced sampler. It's the 3-in-1 Hangover. And basically, um, this is something that um, they're saying um, is can be used as a primer. It can be used just to make your skin um, a little more hydrated. And um, I guess you could use it as a finishing spray also. So I didn't, excuse me, use this one yet. And then again, it's tiny, tiny, biny. So I think I'll probably just leave this. Usually, like my travel bag, I just keep certain things in there all the time. So um, I'll probably just leave this in there. And it does have like a hint of coconut. So replenishing primer and setting spray. Cool. So those are my samples. Um, I, one of the samples I picked out was for um, a perfume, but I guess they ran out because I got another mask instead, which is fine. Um, but I like the perfumes because I have like literally a giant hoard of the perfume samples, as I've discussed in another video. Um, so I like just to add to the hoard, I guess. But these samples are good. So the thing that I ordered with my gift card was this guy and it was the second little kind of like sampler I bought from Smashbox. I bought my first one back in, no, not in November. Maybe? No, not in November. Sometime last year I bought another sampler. Um, so I got the Smashbox Glow and Go little sampler and um, <clears throat> this was on clearance for $29.99 I believe. So, um, what I was really interested in, which I use today, is their photo finish, photo finish primer water. So, yes, it is similar to the Too Faced one that I got the sample of. Um, so, you can use this as a primer, you can use this as a finisher, and then the box said something about being using it as a refresher. So, I did use it today, so it was the first time I had used it. Um, and... I mean, as far as this goes for day one, um, I did go back to work for summer camp this today. Um, it was very busy. It was a hectic day, and I was hot and sweaty, so I don't know if maybe it was just, like, um, an extra, a little extra duty that I was trying to make this primer do. But um, it didn't work as well as their um, photo finish cream does. The photo finish cream, your makeup will not crease. It will not move. So I did have to touch up my makeup today before I did this video. Um, but I'm willing to try it again. I mean, I use it as a primer. It says you can use it as a primer and a finisher. I didn't go back over top of it. So maybe that's why my makeup needed a little more TLC when I got home. But again, it has like, I think a coconutty water type yeah, smell. That is amazing. So 
I'm not done with this yet. I'll keep trying it. So that was the one out of here I really, really wanted to try. Now the other thing, and this is actually, I think, the winner of this set. Um, it's, a smash, it's the Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in Beverly Hills Blush. So I will be honest, I have not used this as a cheek color yet. I don't know if I'm brave enough for it, but this has been in my purse since I got it. It goes on like butter. And the color is really pretty. Um, it's not too flashy, so I've been kind of just using it like as a chapstick. It goes on real smooth. It feels real soft. And um, I like it. For my cheek, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't really know how to use this on my cheek. I'm a little scared. Maybe maybe when I'm not going anywhere or doing anything like on a Saturday morning, I will put it on to I like. I haven't used it quite yet for that. But the lips, it's been in my purse ever since I got it. It is awesome. It's fantastic. All right. And the last thing that was in here, oh, it fell on my lap. Now, when I was first looking at it, I thought that this was an eyeshadow. It's not. It's like a, it's like a highlighter. Um, so when I retouched up my makeup, I did put some on, so I do look a little bit, um, you know, illuminated. Um, th this is the Fusion Soft Light Speak Starburst. And honestly, I was like, I think this could be an eyeshadow. So I did put it on there, and it actually did come off when you really put a lot on there. So it's not coming up too well. It's like a dark brown, a bronzy color, a peachy color, like just really soft browns. So I did, right before this video, I put it on my forehead and my cheeks and my nose, my chin. Um, and it, it did work really well. I wouldn't, this isn't something I do every day, but it's nice to kind of jazz up your face a little bit. And I do prefer it to blush, to be honest. So this is the Fusion Soft Lights. I liked it. So, so far, goodbye. Uh, I'll try the primer water again, see if I have better luck with it. Alright, so, that was my order from Sephora. I had a really, really eventful week last week. Um, and I, I had some training work. Um, it was like a four-day teacher training. So, I basically... <laughs> The way I've been describing it is I did like a semester's worth of work in four days and um, they were seven hour days basically in class and working in small groups. So by the time I got out of there, because I'm a teacher, so I'm used to just moving, doing, doing, doing. And by the time I got out of there, I was just like, I need to go out somewhere. <laughs> I need to do things. So um, last Tuesday, or no, I guess it had to be Wednesday, my husband and I went to the Gloucester Premium Outlets, which is down the street from our house, and um, we went to have dinner. We like to go to the food court over there because it's a pretty decent food court, and we like to walk around. It is an outdoor mall, um, which has its pluses and minuses. Obviously, when the weather's nice, it's nice to walk around, and you know you can get ice cream and Starbucks after, and it's it's pretty nice. So I had to get some things for my kiddos, and um, with my I've, I've lost some weight. And I think I mentioned in my last video, I'm just in a weird in-between place with my pants right now. Like, I can always get my shirts to fit fine. Pants is another story because my largest size is just enormous. And that's what the majority of my summer clothes are in right now. Or my smaller size. Like, you know, it's, it's like really between three sizes. And um, I don't have much of the in-between. So I've been trying to make do with the largest size, obviously, because the smaller size isn't going on. And um, it's especially last week trying to find things to wear to this teacher conference was difficult because I really didn't have a pool to pull from. So I went to my favorite clothing store at the outlets, which is the Gap Outlet. And I'm just going to show you this stuff kind of quick because I have some other things I want to show you to so take up a little more time. I'm already at 14 minutes. Um, but the Gap Outlet, if you are a Gap fan... I was having a ginormous sale on all of their summer things. So I actually, I wore these over the weekend, which I will tell you about in a second. And um, these are their straight cuff capris. They're kind of longer, on the longer side, which I don't always mind because sometimes, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I just feel more comfortable that way. 
So these were 70% off. Oh, I just took these out of the dryer. They got wrinkled. I'm wearing these tomorrow. Um, these are 70% off. So these went from being $60 to being $17.99, I believe, because I did have a 15% off coupon. And the 15% off coupon, usually for Gap, if something is on clearance or Redline, they don't take any coupons off of it. Um, but this one they did. So I was very excited about that. So... Like I said, these were $17.99. They're a little wrinkly still. And then I got two pairs of shorts, which I did not wear yet. Um, and, you know, I'm 33. And buying shorts when you're 33 and you're a mom and you are not super thin is very challenging. Um, so the, the first pair I think I could probably wear to work. And these are their khaki girlfriend five and short um and i did have another pair of shorts like this in my larger size that i actually just listed on my poshmark closet as part of a lot with another pair of shorts um so i like these they're a really cute color obviously i was looking more for more neutral things but these were on sale for 9.99 so all of the neutral things in my size were gone so, I mean, these, this is the, I won't, I, I don't mind to tell you that these are a 10. Um, these are a little big on me, but the 8s were too small. I, I need like another 5 or 6 pounds to get into the 8s. So, for $10, I don't mind just wearing it for the summer. So, there they are. And I liked these because they had like a little um, stitching detail on the side. I don't know if you can see it. It's like cross-hatched. So these were very cute, $9.99. And then these, these I could not wear to work. These are a little bit on the shorter side, but I thought for going to the beach, doing something really casual where I know it's going to be hot, I got these. And these are the girl, a uh, sexy boyfriend short. And I guess they're the boyfriend short because it's fringed at the end. So $9.99 sale on their shorts right now. Go for it. Um, my husband bought a pair of shorts, too. Um, he bought a pair of pants, and, they, and he bought shirts. Um, I love going to the Gap Out at their clearance rack. I've gotten some fantastic deals on, so definitely run, don't walk to the outlet. They're still having their sale. Go. Um, okay, so... Um, this weekend, we went to a birthday party for a friend of ours' daughter. She's two. And last year, I guess about 10 months ago now, um, our friends moved to Virginia. They're like our besties. We hung out with all the time. They moved to Virginia, which we were so sad. Um, and we just haven't gotten a chance to go down there yet. So when the birthday party came up, I was like, all right, well, we have to do what we can to try to. My husband works weekends. So we have to do what we can to try to get down there because I really want to go down there and it's going to be the summertime. They live right outside of um, Washington, D.C., about 20 minutes. So I was like, you know, we can make a little weekend out of it. It'll be nice. So Friday, right after my husband got out of work, I think by the time we actually left, it was about 3.30, we headed down there. And um, <clears throat> by the time we ate, we stopped and ate, you know, halfway through and, um, actually got there it was kind of late so we didn't get to see them Friday night we tried to put the kids in the pool um, because my younger son fell asleep for a little while so we were like all right we'll tire them out uh, my youngest son did, was was not going to be tired out he cried a lot going to bed he cried a lot in the middle of the night Friday night was miserable so Saturday we had um, a really really nice time at the party we um, left kind of early because our friends were getting their little ones and they also had friends that were staying at their house they were getting their little ones to sleep so um we decided we would head back and literally right down the street from where our hotel was was the potomac mills mall which is another simon outlet mall love simon they're the best um and <laughs> we were there for about two hours Two hours is not enough to navigate this mall. This mall is absolutely freaking huge for an outlet mall. It is indoors. Um, I haven't been to uh, the closest indoor mall to me that I can think of would be like the Franklin Mills Mall. And I haven't been there since I was a child. And I remember it being huge. So I don't know how this compares to Franklin Mills. I don't even think it's called Franklin Mills anymore. Um, 
But this place was freaking huge and had an awesome selection of stores. We only got to really go into a handful because I, they closed at 9. So even if we wanted to push the envelope and keep the kids awake a little longer, um, we weren't able to. So I definitely, next time we get down to visit them, I want to go back to the mall and really explore. So some of the places we did go, um, of course, the first place I went was Nordstrom Rack. Of course. Um, so I did pick out some things that I want to show you. Um, they also had a Bloomingdale's outlet. Um, they had the Neiman Marcus outlet. I, I didn't hit the Neiman Marcus outlet. It was kind of off to one side, and I just sort of stayed along the path. So that would be one place I'd want to hit up. Um, we went to the Kate Spade outlet. Um, Disney was there. Like, pretty much any outlet store you can think of was at this mall. And like I said, we didn't even make it the whole way through. So, um, I want to show you two little goodies I got from Nordstrom Rack, and then there's a, one other thing I bought for myself in the Disney store, and then I'm going to break off and do another quick video um, about something else. So, um, this next item was something I had my eye on when it was for sale last year, and um, regular price, it was just, I wanted it, but I didn't want to spend the money on it, um, and I had seen pieces of this collection at my Nordstrom Rack in Cherry Hill, but um, nothing that was really in my color scheme and what I wanted to get. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I need to have this, um, which kind of prompts what I'm going to talk about in my next video. Um, so it is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. But, I mean, just look at the box. I am obsessed with Gwen Stefani. Um, I, I don't go as crazy as I used to, but especially if I see something on a deal like the OPI nail polishes or this guy, I have to jump on it. And I really wanted this palette because the colors look really, really neat. Um, so when I saw it, it retailed at the time for $58, and this was $24.97, so more than half off. So I was, I was very satisfied with that. So let me show you the box. Now the cool thing about this, and I haven't tried it yet, but it came with lipstick samples. So it has four little lipstick samples there, and they are Firebird, Ex-Girlfriend, um, 714, and Rocksteady. And just kind of talks about the lipstick. So when I feel like I really want to go ultra vampy, I'll try some of these guys out, but I'm having it sealed for now. Um, okay, so here's what the outside of the palette looks like. It's gold, and um, it's, it's getting my fingerprints everywhere, so I'm kind of like rubbing it because I hate that. I hate fingerprints. So, of course, it's called The Magic in the Makeup. I'm just going to cover the mirror because uh, that is uh, a No Doubt reference if you're not aware. So here it is. Now, um... I can't honestly remember if there was more than one palette. Um, because I remember when I first looked at it, I really didn't want to spend the $58 on it because I was like, I don't know if it needs these colors. Um, but in person, which really, really was just like, oh, this is meant to be. Um, it, there's a lot more neutrals than I thought. Um, I think if any palette you buy, there's going to be a couple colors in there that you're just like, never going to wear, um, unless you're me and you're a teacher and, like, you have a weird dress-up day that you need some sort of very strange eyeshadow. Um, but if you're a No Doubt fan like me or a Gwen Stefani fan, the color names are Blonde, Bathwater, Skimp, Steady, Punk, Baby, Anaheim, Stark, Zone, Serious, Pop, Harajuku, Danger, 1987, and Blackout. So I've sampled a few of them. I am wearing it right now. It did, it did, um, it did crease a little. Like I said, I had to fix it. But I was just kind of mixing them up. This is usually um, a little bit darker than I go for. This was the the pop in the 1987, and I think the baby. So it was like one, two, three, and mixed together there. And so far, I absolutely adore it. Um, and I see myself using this a lot in the future. I mean, not just because it's Gwen Stefani. That has a lot to do with it. But not just because of her. Um, it's really, really good colors. Really, really good pigmentation so far. And an amazing deal. I really wish they would have had lipsticks. Because um, that's 
I wanted to try that too, but I guess it's going to be a little, my baby samples. Okay, so let's item on one from <clears throat> um, Norton Rack. Item two, um, if you're like me and you are a Tory Burch fan, the Potomac Mills Nordstrom Rack had a crazy amount of Tory Burch. Mine always has a couple pieces here or there. You can get a like, search for it, but this had a ton. So when I saw these, and they were um, a rather neutral color and an okay price, I was like, oh, I have to get these. So I got myself another pair of Tory Burch flip-flops. They are the regular, you know, rubberized kind. These were $35. Um, it doesn't say the compare at. I think the compare at is usually $60 or $70. I would never pay that much. $35 is even a little steep for rubberized ones. But what I like about them, I, I love the Javianas. I showed you them before. Um, they tend to like, when you're walking, sometimes it'll the front will bend and you'll kind of trip and you'll scratch it. Um, these aren't... Um, too flexible. They have a little bit of flex for comfort, but you're not going to be constantly tripping yourself like you do with some other ones. Old Navy, forget it. They're the worst. You can, I'll, I'll keep my dollar. And, you know, I know you could buy 34 Old Navy flip flops for these, but I'd rather have these. So these are neutral. Obviously, I did not wear them yet, um, but they're very pretty. So that was my other rack find and this is kind of uh silly but this is something i had been looking at before for our one of our disney trips so we went to the disney store and they were having a huge blowout sale still like i told you about um a couple weeks ago but they were having an additional 25 percent off anything star wars and i have two little boys and a husband who loves star wars so of course i'm into star wars i love star wars um and I had been looking at this for our last Disney trip, but it was a little pricey. So when I, and I haven't even tried this on yet. I should to make sure it fits. Um, so when I saw it and it was an additional 25% off, I was like, oh my God, I need to have this. So um, I would probably wear it in the parks. Um, and I would definitely, definitely wear it to school. It is uh, a Darth Vader like baby doll dress. I haven't tried it on. Um, all they had in this dress was a size large, which I think will be fine. Um, I probably, if they would have had extra large, bought it just to be on the safe side. So there it is. Ah. Um, so this was originally $50, marked down to $24.99 and 25% off. It was like $17 and some change. Um... The Disney store that they had in this Potomac Mills Mall was off the hook. It had a huge section. And like I said, next time we go down to visit, I am definitely, definitely going back to this mall. It was awesome. I would definitely love to explore it when I had some time. Um, the whole area down there is really, really nice. Um, I believe it's Woodbridge, Virginia was where our hotel was. And... Um, I can't remember the exact town they live in. It's, it's in that general area. It's a beautiful area. Um, and let's see. Really quick, since it's almost a half hour. Um, yesterday, we got a chance to go to, into D.C. and we went to the Smithsonian Zoo. It was beautiful. Again, definitely somewhere I want to go back to and explore a little more at some point. Um, so we'll see. Thank you for watching this video. I am going to do another video right after this. Um... My husband's like, how many of these things do you have? And I was like, oh, I don't have that many. And then I was trying to put this stuff away. And I realized I have too many. But I'm not going to part with any of them. So I thought, instead of parting, let's just do a collection video. Let's chat about these items and what makes them amazing and why I need more and more and why I won't get rid of them. So thank you so much for watching.